I've been making clothes for 15 years now, and it's kind of evolved into, in the past four or five years, into a full-time business. So now I'm pretty, I have my retail space, which is my studio and my show room, and then I sell at other places. I like art, so I kind of go for collaboration with other artists in some of my work or incorporating vintage and recycled textiles. So I like working in organic and nice quality textiles. I like to feel comfortable, so I do a lot with fiber. But I also like to be unique, so I support, you know, local or small business in that way. I like to be kind of outside the box and different, so that's pretty important to me. I'll usually start with textile first, and then it kind of evolves from there. Some of the textiles I work with are just small pieces, like trims. I acquire other textiles, and then the piece comes together. And other times I'll order a bolt of 75 yards of something, because I really like the textile, and then I'll design several different concepts using that particular textile so I could get a uh, dress design out of the fabric, a jacket design, a shirt design. So it really depends on how much of the fabric I have. I got this <laughs> very impulsive and kind of took the space when it became available because I was working out of my home and I just didn't have enough room. I really kind of thought first studio, workspace, and then everything else will come later. I knew that I could have a retail environment I could have my studio and I could have my viewing area for my designs. It's been almost a year and I'm definitely more full with the retail and I'm production. I'm getting a lot more done now that I'm in here. I didn't take out a business loan. I didn't do anything organized. I just kind of went with it, pulled from my savings. So this year has been a struggle maintaining retail, stocking the shelves with anything that's not mine. You know, then I've got all my fabric, seasonal fabric that I have to invest in. But half the stuff in here is made by me. You coined a phrase, hippie nouveau, or nostalgic whimsy. It tends to appeal to a crowd that's comfortable in their skin, I think. Whether, whatever, you know, we are. I think it's comfort, it's different, it's whimsy. I get a lot of people who just really like sporting local. And then I do a lot of custom work too, so. My style can be, uh, people can make it their own. My work's very important to me because I am selling a lot to my neighbors. The fact that I'm making it right here, they know who's making it. They appreciate the fact that I have remained small and kept things real local. My price point works with them. They like my combinations of some of the textiles that I use because I love antiques so much that I work with the old stuff and blend it with the new and then do a blend of eco fibers. So I think meaning my work is just, it's important that anybody can wear it, anybody can afford it. And it's a combination of very unique things.